I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. Promise there's a river out here somewhere. I'm with my good friend Rick over here with Dig Dive Discover. And we're gonna be hunting a section of river I haven't hunted in a couple years. We're hoping to find some awesome Ice Age Pleistocene fossils. So, Rick hasn't found a uh, mastodon tooth yet. You wanna find one of those sometime? I would probably kiss you. <laughs> if I could get a mastodon today. So we're hoping we're gonna find something good. You guys stay tuned with us as we get out of here. And we're gonna head to the river. Let's do it. And make sure you check out Rick's channel. He's got he's on YouTube at Dig Dive Discover, Instagram as well. And he found one of the fossil hunter dreams recently, a full mammoth jaw. So after you guys get done watching this video, links in the description below, and there'll be a you know a little click button for you guys to go to. Check out that mammoth jaw. It is awesome. It is so cool. What were you thinking when you found that man? man. I was on a day like this where I was just simply scouting and I wasn't expecting it and that's how it goes you're typically like oh I'm not gonna expect to get anything today and it started coming up in pieces and what was cool is it did come up in pieces so check the video out because you can see uh, real time what I saw I found one tooth and then another and then another and it's just it was really one of the most exciting moments in my time fossil hunting so make sure to check that out we are actually at the river so we're gonna hike get to a few spots make sure to Find out what we find today, guys. Woo! the happy place guys this is the happy place the so valentine says we're gonna go down here and i don't believe him <laughs> god it's a slide it's a paleo slide let's do it so we haven't even been at the river for less than a minute and i'm just walking this nice beautiful gravel bar we got here and i can see a horse tooth sticking straight out of the gravel there that's awesome. This place is beautiful. That is a great extinct horse tooth from the same genus the modern horses are from, but we no longer have this pretty pony. Another horse tooth and like six inches of water. Sweet, really high quality horse tooth. So I'm out of the cold water for the first time and I'm on this awesome little gravel bar and if you guys see with me You can see it. there's a tooth There's a tooth There's a tooth Let's see any more teeth. Oh, there's a tooth right there There's another tooth and so this awesome little gravel bar which you don't see that often in this river has shark teeth lots of them actually very cool. So I've already picked up all these little ones, but they keep on coming. There's a tooth. There's a tooth. There's a tooth. So let me pick all these up and I'll show you how many teeth can come from a little virgin gravel bar like this. Oop, that's a gator tooth right there. Oh, that's a sick one too. That's cool. Very cool. So there you go, just laying right on the surface. So that's another good fossil hunting tip for you guys. When you find exposed gravel bars like this and there's teeth just laying out, then you know you're in a virgin area. And that's where you wanna check for some fossils, for some very nice fossils, excuse me. So I'm still checking this spot out and I just got this chunk of a glyptodon scoot, the giant armored armadillo that used to be in Florida. But I'm looking over here, and I see a jaw. Pretty sure that's modern, though. That's still cool, though. Yep, that's a feral. Oh, whoa, there's a catfish in it! There was a catfish living in the cavity. I hope that was on film. But that's still pretty cool. Juvenile. It's got a little 
cavity over here for a tooth developing. But I'm going to get in this hole right here and see if we can find some more Florida fossils. That's awesome. That blockage was pretty hard to get through. I'm gonna try to get further down the river where Rick's at, get to a new spot. Whew. Getting to the river. Gonna find some awesome history. You saving history over there? Huh? You saving history over there? I'm trying, I got a couple <laughs> horse teeth. Whew. That's our first piece of the mammoth tooth. I don't have a lot of dexterity in my fingers, but you'll have to trust me on that. Oop, something's in there. Ooh. I didn't think there was anything when I grabbed it, but that's a piece of a camel or a llama tooth right there. Oof. It's kind of deep and dark though. An unexpected set of shark teeth. We're gonna pick them up real quick. There's that heartbreaker Chubbatensis shark tooth. Incredible serrations, but couldn't be whole. You had one job, buddy, and you couldn't be whole. He's got a jaw. Rick's gonna pick it up. Let's have it. You've gotta be kidding me. That is so nice. Oh, is it cat? That's a bobcat, it? I think. Oh. I think that is a really nice bobcat jaw. Oh my god. It definitely oh. looks cat. It's gotta be. Oh my god. I'm so jealous right now. You have no idea. Dude, I'm so jealous. That thing is sick. Oh my gosh. Sitting out, man. Woohoo! That is one incredible find. Predator stuff is incredibly rare in Florida rivers. And that is definitely cat. We're thinking bobcat, but we're not 100% sure yet. But, oh man, that is a trip maker. I bet Rick's very happy with that, aren't you? <laughs> so cool. So very cool. Another horse tooth over here, too.
little horse teeth that I could grab. <laughs> like a handful of horse teeth. And that's an awesome one to run. One of the smallest ones. I'm shaking, it's so cold. Oh yeah, it is chilly. Oh, that was awesome. Put these down. Dude, there are chunks of coal everywhere over here. That could be... You gotta see, there's a big piece of there, two pieces there, two pieces there. That looks like mandibles. You sure? It's called the... It has the, um, those pockets, those little... It just looks like an edge of it. It looks really dense for... Um, Oh, it's got the honeycomb structure. You want to fan that out? Yeah, let's, we're going to start fanning all this out. Go collect all the bone and show you guys. This is why you should do this with gloves on. That does not feel good at all. Big piece of skull. Here are the chunks of mammoth skull that we managed to recover. You can see right here they have a honeycomb structure, and that's what this animal used to reduce weight while staying rigid. So the animal skull would have been hundreds of pounds, and without evolving this structure, it wouldn't be able to support its own head. Basically, if it had a skull as thick as mine, it would not have been able to survive. And that evolutionary strategy was so successful, it's replicated throughout all of Proboscidea. So mammoths, mastodons, gonfotheres, they all have that honeycomb structure that's allowed their skull to be able to reduce weight while remaining solid and stable. Really cool piece of history. So we just got out the water. I've been freezing my butt off all day. So we're going to eat lunch real quick, I'm going to warm up, and then we're going to keep hunting. There's more river to check, it's not dark yet, let's go do it. Let's go. Just goes to prove, you really never know <laughs> what you're going to find in the river. We'll try to get that out of here on one piece and dispose of it responsibly. But that's just, that's funny. That's honestly funny. This might be the biggest chunk of giant tortoise I've ever found. It's right below me. from the clay layer. Another big piece of shell. We're off trying to find a new spot. It's really beautiful out right now. We finally got the sun. The river is like an orange, tannin, beautiful color. We'll get to a new spot and we'll try to get it, put ourselves on more fossils. More awesome histories out here. All right, our next spot is super scenic. We've got this gorgeous fern bluff. And look at these pretty flowers. I love me some flowers. There's a wild dig dive discover over there. 
looking for her fossils. So I'm over here hunting in that hole right there. And I tell Rick, it looks like a gator's been in here. And I keep hunting. Guess what is right there? A large gator. Guess what hole I'm not going back in? That hole. I want rocks, not lizards. Rocks, not lizards. But the day's not over yet, so I'm gonna keep on looking. This guy's just lazing about while I'm having to deal with gators. You Next time. Gator? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> not hear me screaming? Oh, shit. You're on gator duty next time, man. Just Are you floating? Kinda. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Yeah. Alright, I think Rick's found something nice. Oh, what, what do you think you got? Yeah. Um, I see a piece of some enamel showing. I think it's a mastodon tooth. It's just uh, pretty much sitting out in the open. I just don't know if it's whole or fragment or what, but I'm super excited to go see what it is. Dude, let's go grab it. Let's go All grab right. it. Ah! All right, dude. That would have been a nice cream muffler. Yeah. Well, dude, I'm so happy though, man. I, I came out here for a mastodon tooth. That's so, so sick. And that's a mastodon tooth, so. Holy crap. We got a mastodon tooth. Oh, let me see that again. Dude, I wish that thing was whole. That's a gorgeous mastodon chunk. You got two thirds of it though. Hey, this is the most mastodon tooth I have. I'm so happy with today. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're killing it. That's awesome. Whew. While Rick finishes checking that spot out, I'm gonna see if there's any more spots that we can, you know, grab a few more fossils before the end of the day. It's getting close to it. Sun's starting to set, but there's more things in this river. We just gotta find them. Ooh, it's a sketchwack pond. Very sketchwack. Very sketchwack. Back in the water. Good bone. All right, we sent it out. Time to see what it is. It is a skull. That's not awesome. Not sure what though. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so someone lost his GoPro and in true fashion, <laughs> yours truly has discovered it. My first GoPro, I found it! Just like refining all your fossils again. <laughs> all, all my fossils got dumped out of the bag too. So. You really have to appreciate the fact that we have the ability to go out and experience places like this. Be able to find history, save it, appreciate it, talk about it, learn from it. It's really awesome to be able to connect to science and nature like this. I'm so thankful to be able to do what I do and come out to rivers and creeks and hunt for these awesome pieces of natural art. And I'm glad Rick, who's way over there, yep, he just popped up, 
can be able to experience this with me and really glad you guys are here to enjoy this with me. Make sure you keep staying tuned and subscribe for more adventures and to see beautiful hidden pieces of wilderness like this that house awesome amazing pieces of history. I still got some more to find. I've got maybe an hour of daylight. But stay tuned for the rest of the video and we'll get out of here. Get back as soon as we can. I've got something that's making me hopeful. There's a ball joint right there from a man with a mastod on. If there's a tooth in front of it, I'm gonna flip out today since it's crazy already. That is a big bone. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, it looks like a freaking bowling ball. And that's a ball socket to a mammoth, right? Yeah, he's a mammoth. Or well, that's it on, but since we found mammoth here before, it's probably mammoth. That's awesome. Cool. Good find, man. Yee. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, that was the last spot of the day. Rick's already a bit ahead of me, but I'm going to co catch up with him. We're going to put all our fossils together from today, check it out, and then we're going to get out of here before I freeze like a freaking popsicle. It's cold. Very cold. So we're back at the Mammoth Hall, and we're about to get out of here, and I'm so glad that Rick from Dig Dive Discover could come out and join me. Make sure to check out his channel. He's been finding some absolutely insane stuff recently, including, what was that? What did you find recently? Mammoth mandible. He found a whole mammoth jaw. It's awesome. Before we leave, I want to show you guys some of the stuff we found today. We really killed it. We've got, of course, the bobcat mandible, which is any trip's trip maker. If we didn't find anything today, and we found that, that would still be worth coming out. We had a whole bunch of really nice associated extinct horse teeth. Rick got what he came for with this awesome mastodon molar. It's about two thirds there. You would have had a third hump at the end, but that's still alone an awesome tooth. We've got this giant tortoise shell section, which is the biggest section I think I've ever found. This piece goes to it and this piece goes to it as well. We've got our chunks of mammoth with the honeycomb structure to reduce weight. And after this spot, we found this killer mammoth ball joint. Fortunately, no more of it was left. If you guys enjoyed this video, I've got a bright idea for you. <laughs> Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we will bring you more of this awesome natural history, more of this awesome science exploration, and thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I can't wait to bring you guys more and better videos. Thanks for joining me, Rick. All right, man, it was fun. It was a blast. Whew.